Welcome back. We created our I Am Richland series as a way to introduce you to the many talented, hardworking, and unique people that, like you and I, call Richland home. Initially, we were featuring Richland residents in our programs, but now we have transitioned our programs to include City of Richland employees. By doing this, we hope to shed some light on the diverse workforce that is dedicated to providing you the services and the amenities you desire while carrying out the City's strategic leadership plan. The City of Richland employs a workforce of over 500 full-time employees, and we provide our citizens with public safety, all their utilities, community development, housing programs, parks and recreation, a library, and other traditional city services. This month, we visit the Water Maintenance Division and introduce you to meter service worker, Jeff Weixel. My job, I can do this till I'm well into my 60s, 70s. Um, what I like about we got a good crew, good boss, good secretary. I like the fact that I my office is from South Badger all the way to North Richland, and I'm not in a room all day long. I like being out. We got our crew meeting in the morning. The boss tells everybody um, or goes over what everybody's schedule is and I'll generally have stuff for hydrant meters so I'll go out and install them, check them. The, the high users, I'll read them every day and make sure that they're still still running, not broken. If they're broken, I'll swap it out with another hydrant meter. A lot of freezing or if, or if there was just a defective meter, we'll open it up and look and see what it was. It could be a, a just a, a defect or a rock or a piece of sand or something that maybe caused it to break. So we have uh, water meters so that we we can meter the water. So each each resident or business or industry, we have a way to tell how much water they use and, and they pay for that. And um, customer service calls, um, somebody needs their, their meter shut off or turned back on. Once in a while, we'll, I'll get a list of, of um, of a few homes or businesses that that um, hadn't paid, or they had moved out, or uh, for whatever reason, and so I'll I'll show up to the site and I'll, I'll lock the meter out until I get a call to turn it back on, and that could be a day, it could be months, a year, or just whenever whenever that business or resident decides to to pay that bill. That's our meter test bench, and that's for, for smaller meters. Right there, there's, those are three quarter inch meters. And, and uh, we, we're just testing those for accuracy. And once, once they do meet the, the high and low test, then um, it, it, once they pass that, then they go back out into the system. A lot of times, uh, if somebody's, somebody's gone, I'll fill in for them, help out doing water locates. For instance, if, if somebody calls in and they need, to, um, they need to dig up the ground for whatever reason, it could be an electrical company, so we need to go out there and locate our water line and our storm and sewer so that um, when they're digging, they'll know where our stuff is and they don't dig it up. I am married, I have a wife, I have two boys and a bulldog. Um, uh, my, my oldest is 21, my youngest is 16, two boys, and hobbies, I don't, you know, I'm still young, I don't have a hobby yet, maybe I'll find one when I get older. Right now I just kind of like to tinker in the yard, um, just, just little things around the yard, but maybe someday when I get older I'll have a hobby. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jeff Weixel. Meter service worker for the city of Richland. I am Richland. 
You can say civic service runs through Jeff's veins. His mother retired in 1996 after 30 years with the city of Kennewick. Jeff grew up in Kennewick and attended Kennewick High School before heading west to study HVAC at North Seattle Community College. Jeff has been an employee with the city of Richmond for 17 years, but it has not always been spent as a meter service worker. He worked as a temp in the streets department and as an operator at the water treatment plant before finding his home as a meter service worker in 2002.